Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna be doing my February beauty favorites. So I feel like it's been a minute since I've touched on any new beauty products just because I did my yearly favorites and I've been doing some more like lifestyle favorites type videos. So I wanted to bring it back to the beauty products. So I'm gonna be talking about a bunch of new products I've been loving. And also before we get into that, I wanted to give you guys an update on my at home laser hair removal. So if you guys have not seen my video on this little device right here, this is the Kenzie at home IPL device. I did a whole video on this little guy right here back in, I think like the late fall, early winter. And I wanted to give you guys an update because a lot of you guys have been asking, does it work? Can we get an update? So here is the update. I am happy to report that I am obsessed with this little guy. It really and truly does work. So in my previous video, I showed you guys that I was using it on my underarm area and I was, almost done with my treatment. I think I was about eight weeks in at that point, but you will see the full results in 12 weeks. So now it's been over 12 weeks and I have my full results. I no longer have hair on my underarm area. So for me, that is like a dream come true. I also just recently started using it on my mustache area. I don't have like a really like serious mustache, but like right here, I get like dark black hair and that's not something that is cute to me personally. So anyways, this device, so easy to use, so convenient. You don't have to go to a salon. You can do it in the privacy of your own home. I also wanna start using this on my bikini area. You could basically use it anywhere, face, body. You just wanna avoid like the eye area. But yeah, I really love this little guy and you only have to use it once per week. So you do one session a week, that's all it takes. But I will say this, during the holidays, I missed two weeks. So I missed two sessions in a row and I feel like that kind of delayed my results by about two weeks. So just keep that in mind. You want to stay on track with your treatments to get optimal results. But once I finally completed all of that, I have not had any hair there and it's just amazing. So I'm going to insert a little demo of how you guys can use this device, but it's so easy to use. And I feel like it's pretty painless. I mean, it doesn't feel like nice, but the pain level is very minimal and you can adjust the level that you're using it on. And most skin types can use this except for very, very dark skin. And if you guys want any more information on this, definitely check out my previous video. I did a whole Q and A segment in that video. And yeah, the price of this is $2.29, but I will have a $50 off coupon code for you guys. I'll put it on screen here. I'll also put it in the description box along with a link so you guys can purchase one of these Kenzie devices for yourself because I am obsessed. So um, yeah, now I'm just gonna insert a little clip of how to use it. Okay, so once you have it plugged in, you can use the button on the back to turn it on and to adjust the power level, I usually use level four or five. And you wanna make sure to start with cleanly shaved skin because there does need to be hair in the follicle. And then you just press it to the skin, press the button. It will only flash once it makes contact with the skin. So it's really easy and safe to use. And yeah, that's basically it. All right, so now that my armpits are looking real good, we're gonna get into the makeup products to make our face look equally nice. So first I wanna talk about a concealer that I've been obsessed with. I used this in a few videos recently and I just, I love it, I love it, I love it. So this is from Dior and this is their new Forever Skin Correct Concealer. And I do have two shades of this because I feel like the range, like the color range runs a little bit dark. So I have 2N and I also have have one W. So today I used a mixture of these. If I have like a self tanner on, I will just use this. If I have no self tanner on, I will use this. I probably should have got 1.5 because I feel like I'm definitely in between, but I didn't do that. I don't know why I didn't do that, but this, this stuff is good. So it has a pretty large applicator. If you guys can see kind of reminiscent of like Tarte Shape Tape or like the Too Faced Born This Way. It's a big a big guy, but I love it. I feel like it covers so well. I don't need to layer it up and it doesn't get creasy on me. It says 24 hour wear caring full coverage, creamy concealer, floral extract enriched. So I've been loving this. And a lot of the times I will just put this on my under eyes and like wherever I want to like brighten or conceal. And then I will use this next product as like a bronzer slash cream bronzer slash foundation. So that is the next product. I feel like I've mentioned this before, maybe back in the summertime, but this is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Foundation Stick. So this is in the color Cocoa. And like I said, I like to use this as 
a cream bronzer. So I'll just put concealer under here and use this all around like my bronzer area. So like my forehead, cheekbones, and then on my jawline. And then when I do that, like I don't even apply foundation. Like I basically just apply concealer and I guess this is a foundation, but I use it as a bronzer, but I'm not putting foundation all over my face. And I've kind of really been liking that. It's less products on your face. Next, I want to talk about a sponge. So I'm not sure if this is online yet because I couldn't find it on when I was looking the other day, but I purchased this in store and it's dirty as can be because I just used it, but I'm obsessed. This sponge is from Target. It's the Sonia Kashuk, I think they called it like a filter sponge, but what I love about it is the shape. So the shape of it is so nice. It has this pointed tip, which helps you get right in there because I have darkness right in here. So a lot of the times like regular beauty sponges, like they're just not the right shape and it just gets like all like in my eye and then my eye is irritated because there's concealer inside of it and it just, then we're off to a bad start. We don't like that. So the tip is really nice. <laughs> That's what she said. And then this part, um, I really like for using my powder. You can take your powder and just press it right under there, which I love. You can clean up that like under eye and you can bake with it cause it has that edge. I don't know, I just really, really like it. So this is overall a really, really good sponge and it's not like too dense or too porous. It's just the perfect little sponge. I'm definitely gonna pick up a backup of this because I'm always losing them. They're like running around. Like little beauty sponges are just running around my home. I don't know. Does anyone feel like that? I feel like they just bounce. They're like Tigger, just bouncing around. I don't, okay. Next we're gonna talk about some blushes. So I have talked about these before, I believe, but I wanted to mention this color specifically. So this blush I've been wearing like nonstop. It's just so perfect and I love the formula of these blushes, which are from Laura Mercier. I should tell you what they are. They are the Blush Color Infusion. So this is the color Strawberry. I also have Peach, Rosé, but this color Strawberry, oh my God, you guys, for spring, you absolutely need this. I know like in the pan, it looks scary and like, why do you want bubblegum? on your face but it just looks so good kind of gives you like that Kylie Jenner blush like she's so into blush and it looks so just very youthful on her and I love that look it's a matte blush there's no sparkle or anything in here it doesn't look anything like a strawberry it should be called bubblegum but you know whatever I'll show it next to rose so you guys can see how pink it really is so I thought this one was pink I used this in a Christmas video this year but this is like legit pink and I feel like it's the perfect springtime blush. Next up, I wanted to mention this bronzer. Again, I used this in a video recently. It's new from Revlon. It's called Skin Lights, and this is in the shade Sun Kissed Beam. And it is a very like reminiscent of like the Laura Mercier Candle Glow powders. Like it's not gonna give off like a ton of color. Like it's more of like a diffuse wash of color. It's so beautiful and it has like just this hint of like a shimmer, it's not like sparkly, it just has like this luminosity to it. If the camera will show you, can you see it on my finger? That was awkward. So don't let it scare you when you see it in the pan. I know it looks a little bit shimmery, but it is so beautiful on the skin. It just adds a tiny bit of sheen. It makes your face just look glowy and beautiful and angelic. So I love that. Next up, I have a few lip products I wanted to mention. First is this lip scrub from ColourPop. This is their lippy scrub. I actually just picked up another one of these because I just love it so much. It's their Coco Loco lip scrub. So if you like coconut flavored things or like pina coladas, anything like that, like this is so yummy. And the scrub in this is very fine. It's not like too chunky. I hate when a lip scrub is just feels like you're rubbing rocks on your lips, you know, like this is a very fine, like fine little baby sugar and I love it and it tastes really good. My dogs always try to lick this off of my face. <laughs> they will basically lick anything off my face though, so that's not really saying a lot, but I do love that. I also have really been loving this lip plumper from Dior. Again, you guys know I love Dior. I don't know what it is. I feel like Paris Hilton planted that Dior seed in my brain back in like the 2000s and I just, have subconsciously been obsessed with Dior ever since. Anyways, this is their Lip Maximizer Lip Plumper. And this is very different than any other lip plumper that I've tried. It's not tingly, it's not like painful, which for some reason is a little bit of a bummer to me, but it actually does plump your lips 
has a minty smell and it comes in a bunch of colors. This is the shade 013, which is a really nice nude color. It works great as a lip gloss or you can use it by itself. And it has hyaluronic acid in there. So it makes your lips feel moisturized as well as plump. And it just makes your lips look so beautiful. So on its own or as a gloss over top of something, it is beautiful. I definitely want to pick up more colors, but I will swatch this one on my hand for you guys, you won't be able to see much. Like it looks pretty sheer, but there it is there. Next up we have a lipstick and I raved about this on Instagram stories and I am obsessed with this and anytime I wear it, you guys are like, what lip color is that? So I have a whole video on my favorite nudes and I wish I could go back and edit that so I could insert this because everything else is the same, but this one is new and it's amazing. This is Revlon's new matte super lustrous lipstick in the shade untold stories so it just looks like this just like a basic matte nude but it's not drying on your lips and it feels so smooth going on and i just love it i also really like the new packaging from revlon like this is actually really cute like the black the matte black with the gold it's very cute and i will swatch it on the back of my hand for you guys but it's like a nice just like a neutral light nude color. I don't think I'm wearing it today because I had it set aside for this video, but I'll put it on really quick. Mm, just love it. So here it is on my lips and then here it is on my hand. Next up we have a brush that I wanna talk about, this big old brush. You guys know I love big brushes and I cannot lie. But yeah, this is from e.l.f. It's a big powder brush and I love this for bronzer. Like it's so good. It just, you know, there's a lot of surface area covered when you use a brush of this size. So it's really good, not for contouring, but for like all over bronzing, this is so good. And I know I need to do an updated brush video, but I have to clean my brushes for that video, I feel. Otherwise you guys will think I'm scummy, but I hate cleaning my brushes more than anything in this world. Not true, but you know, it's up there. So this brush is so good, it's so soft. It's like Peter Cottontail in brush form and I just really enjoy it. So had to mention that and it's cheap. I think it's like under $10. And then we have a body product. So this is the Bondi Sands One Day Shimmer Tan. And I used this in like a mini Instagram video back in like the summer. And I recently started using this just when I am not self tanned, but I wanna be. <laughs> or if I'm like showing my legs and I didn't self tan or something like that. This product is so good. I actually have it on my hands today. So this is a shimmer one. They also have a matte one that's really good. Um, but as you can see, it's like it's shimmery, but it's not like straight up glitter. But basically what this does it is it adds like a hint of color. It's not super duper dark but it adds a hint of color, a hint of shimmer, and it just makes your skin look beautiful. And what I like about this is that it's very easy to apply. So I will put it on a brush like this. This is from, I think, Iconic London or something. And it just buffs into the skin so easily. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky, it dries down really nicely and there's very minimal transfer onto clothes which i love and i don't know it's really really good i will say if you're using it on your hands when you go to the bathroom use like hand sanitizer because it can get a little bit messy because it comes off with soap and water so that's one thing to keep in mind if you're using it on your hands but i use it on my hands a lot because i don't know what it is like i don't have any self tanner on right now but my hands are always really pale i don't really know why but it makes me feel weird because then it doesn't look like my foundation matches my body, but you can't see my body because it's winter and I'm very covered. So I have to tan my hands. Otherwise it feels weird when I'm talking with my hands like this. Okay. Put your hands down, Stephanie. You need to get a grip. Next we have a toothpaste and I'm pretty sure in my last favorites video, I mentioned a toothpaste, but a bunch of you guys who are like dental hygienists or things like that said that it was bad for my teeth because charcoal is too abrasive or something like that. And you shouldn't use it daily. So, I feel bad that I recommended it to you guys. I don't want you guys to have your teeth being scraped off. So this one, if you're a dental hygienist, please let me know if I shouldn't be including this. But this is legit if you want white teeth. So this is a new product. I've been using it, uh, I think like maybe a week now, but I had to mention it because I put it on my Instagram stories and it's legit. So it's the Optic White Renewal. And I love this because it's basically just toothpaste. It's not like a white strip or any kind of thing like that. It's so easy. You literally just have to brush your teeth with this twice a day, which you should be doing anyway. And it's really, really good. I drink a lot of coffee. I drink a lot, a lot of red wine. So here are my teeth. 
I feel like they look nice and white. I do not like my teeth, but I feel like when they're whiter, I like them better. But yeah, all you dental people out there, please let me know if this is also bad for my teeth. I'm not sure. It says 3% hydrogen peroxide. So maybe don't use it long term. I'm not sure. Somebody update me and we will talk in the comments. Thank you. All right, and then last but not least, we have a perfume. And I need to do a spring perfume video because we're almost into spring. And I've been wearing a lot of different scents recently and purchasing new scents. So maybe I'll do that soon. But this I wanted to mention because it's limited edition, which makes me mad. But I'm obsessed with this. I cannot get enough. Mm, so this is another KKW. I know people think that KKW fragrances are probably trashy or whatever, but I love this. This is so good. I previously was obsessed with the one called Wifey, which is no longer available. And I guess this is limited edition too. So I'm purchasing another bottle immediately because I've already used up, you know, this amount. So this is called Crystal Violet Musk. And it basically smells to me like a lavender marshmallow. And I have a candle from Bath and Body Works that's called lavender marshmallow but to me that one smells like lavender frosting like it smells like vanilla like buttercream this smells like a lavender powdery marshmallow i believe the notes are like bergamot lavender vanilla uh, violet tonka beans it smells so good and it's like the perfect everyday oh my god i just sprayed it into my eye it's the perfect everyday scent and i've gotten a lot of compliments on it and now I need a coordinating eye patch. But yeah, I absolutely love how this smells. I do not love how it feels in my eye, but that is not the product's fault. Definitely gonna pick up another bottle of this and I wish they had a bigger size because this I think is only one ounce. So I feel like I wish I had a bigger size. Even though I have so many perfumes, I probably don't need a bigger size, but I really like this. And it's just a cute little package too. So that is going to wrap up my February beauty favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what some of your favorite beauty products for 2020 have been so far. I can't believe it's 2020 still. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I keep saying booty. Booty favorites. Booty favorites. That's not being in the thumbnail because I can't hold that many things in my baby hands.